my Chinese quails, they ate here. Put it a little closer here so you can see them. They ate Chinese quails. They're getting, they're just going to grow a little bit more. I'm getting some feathers in the head. There could be some changes. I'm going to see if I can change this thing to something different so they can hide next month. Um, I'm going to keep this with dry food, water. This is going to go away next month. And yeah, I guess as soon as it come, I'm going to um, get another of those. I'm going to put them with um, small seeds. You can see, these are perfect. They're going to start doing that a few days when I goes come with this. I'm going to mix it too with the meal ones. You can see right here, dry meal ones. I got to allow this. So you're going to use the hay. This is going to change. I'm going to get a, a door chicken. So, but I still have to buy this for these guys over here. So I hope they hatch. We we'll see what happens next weekend. I, I should know something. Um, and the hay, I'm using paper towel in the bottle and hay. So I still have to get this stuff. But I'm going to change the food to grow for th these guys. Um, I still have to buy some bags for the other ones. So it's gonna be a new change. I'm gonna put seeds together with mealworms. And uh, once a week, maybe or twice, I'm gonna give them a little bit of, of green lettuce. I don't, don't want that long, soft. I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna start that in August. So you can see my guys, they, they're getting big, you know what I'm saying? They just have to grow a little bit. Uh, I got that spray that I put. That's very important. I'm going to get it here right now. That's important just to keep it safe from um, mites. This is the spray right here. This is very important. So, you know, you got to keep an eye on this stuff too. There, the, the issues too that can come. So, you got to keep all that stuff. I put in, I'm using, I'm not putting this on them right now. So, just too small. I got to be careful. So, I put it around before I, I wait like a half hour before I put them. So, I'm putting it all around. Uh, wear gloves because you know this can have chemicals I think I got it real good but you gotta be careful don't try to smell this stuff either you have to be careful you know wear everything so I don't want to keep I'm gonna keep them inside the house they're not gonna be outside I just have some concern about the bird flu mice and all that kind of stuff so yeah you have to be careful there's a lot of stuff going on you know you got a lot of diseases you know what I'm saying people having a problem with chickens and everything all like that so you have to be careful you know it's fun great when you has the eggs, but still, there can be issues and problems. You got to check all that stuff. So you can see the head, soon they're going to have the, the feathers. They're growing the, starting to grow the feathers. That's the only thing left. Um, I'm going to see if I can, um, they like to fly there too. You see, they're getting, they're getting big, yeah. I think I got two males, but I'm not sure yet. I got, I should know like in one week. Um, I have some that, they pass away, a few of them that pass away. And uh, I mean, when they hatch uh, on the fifth thing and the sixth thing after that. But some, a few of them was going to be completely white. I know that, but they didn't make it. So I had three like gray. I had that one had gray mixed light with, with the spots and one is white, normal. I got three that look normal. And that one over there with the head, that one look like a male, but I'm not sure. It's, um, and some of them I feel Two of them are making noises like a doll when they go up. So that's very interesting. So that's the, that's the noise that the males make. So I got two that are doing that. So let's see what happens with the other one that has. Um, see what I'm going to do after that. Yeah, I just want to take a little video here. Okay, it's Jose Lopez, my Chinese, my eight Chinese quails. Um, they just have to grow a little bit more. They almost, that's the way they're going to look. So these are small species, the smallest species of quails. So, you know. They are uh, the small ones, um, you know, Jose Lopez.